Good afternoon, family. I've got a th few things to go through today, and sorry it's been so long. Um, we've been on shutdowns and all sorts of stuff, so yeah, you know, life's getting hard and stuff like that, but it's alright. We're getting through it. And sorry to people that haven't got their packages yet, because it's um, red light system, red green light system um, in our country. And Auckland, which is the international shipping department up there, main city, is um, on red light. So everything's been sort of delayed up to months, you know, 80 days sort of stalls, you know, from 20 days to 80 days sort of stall. It's, it's not very good. But we'll get there. You, you'll definitely get your packages. They're on their way. They've been shipped. We're going to make one up for Tom, Thomas907, he won um, the prize over at Ron F's um, live stream, which um, Brian and Danny Creek was um, doing for donations for um, Gospel Tees' family. Well, God bless you brother, and fucking hope everything's um, coming right, and you know, prayers go out to their daughter and stuff like that, so um, yeah. On a good note, he won the prize. He won the prize. So what we're going to give him? There's the first thing we're going to give him. No, it's a it's a 1936. I got the I got the um I've got to rub this out and um put the proper thing in. It's a one penny from Britain. It's a nice shape one eh? I thought well you might quite like that. You might not have anything like that. So I thought that's the first thing we'll we'll, we'll put in a good prize here. I know it was gold and silver, but we'll, do, we'll give you the nice copper round, buffalo copper round. That's going to your prize. Right, here's a bit of, I know you um, love a bit of pay dirt and stuff like that, so this is New Zealand pay dirt. This is all the way from New Zealand. This is stuff that um, I got off the bros um, that I was making up my own pay dirts. This is unsearched dirt. Um, because he just gave me some dirt from the river because I was doing my own pay dirts and I wanted some unsearched dirts that I hadn't that I hadn't panned out and you know, you know like tailors and stuff like that so this is it right this is the gold that's from um, one of the ice cream containers we'll go we'll have a look at one of those um, very shortly but that's the gold I got right out of one of them there's over half gram there bro Another half gram there. I weighed it. I'm not going to tell you how much there is. I know how much there is. So we'll put that in. We'll put that in. We'll put that in. And what's a you know, what's a pay dirt without a bit of there's a copper nugget in there and a bit of silver. There's um a silver shot and a bit of crystalline silver. So. A bit, of, a bit of something like that, eh? I'll put that in there. I'll put that in there. And. We'll, we'll put a bit of. No, we'll go this way. We'll go this way. We'll go this way. I'll put this one in. I might put in a couple of coins in it. I might pay you to say. Uh, I like giving you one of those ones. Where is he? Have I got one of them on the back? Oh. Well, yeah, luck of this part, you're going to have to have a young, young queen head. It's a sixpence. It's got a tui on it. Sixty-five. We'll put that one. That's a non-silver one. Okay. Right. Let's do that, eh? Let's do that. Let's do that. Right, this is a 50% silver. Uh, 
shilling, 1945. It's got that Maori warrior on the bit on the front with King George on the back. Sweet. So that'll go into your Patriot, all right? So there you go. I'm not putting any gems in this time. These fellas got more gems than I will. So um, here's your Patriot, bro. But but that's not all. I'll put those down there for a minute. This has been sitting in here. So I'm going to give you this as well. One ounce, three nines fine silver fern. It's got our country on the back. You wanted something from New Zealand? Here it is. You've got your New Zealand gold pay dirt. So it's the gold is from New Zealand, coming out of, um, that came out of Christchurch, out of, um, yeah, middle of, middle of the South Island, that this gold come from, and, um, silver, uh, the silver all came from you guys, because we don't get any much of that, but, these you, these are, you want something from New Zealand, you got a couple of coins from New Zealand, you got that, you got your copper round, and you got your, um, your British, your British um, penny. So there's your prize. We'll, um, we'll get that off as soon as possible, and hopefully you get it as soon as possible when the um, when the customs um, clear all up, which they, they're starting to. But here we go. We've got a few finds for the week. I've got this one. This is the silverback gorilla. That's the silverback gorilla. Got that. This. No, oh, I got that one about two weeks ago. This one. But that, I thought that was a nice addition to my collection. And I got this. I finally got one, a silver one. I finally got a silver one. Can half bell boa. Isn't he neat? I thought he was quite neat, eh? From Panama. 90% silver. Nine. Oh, I've got, oh, I'm blind. 1930. This, yeah, this is 1930. Nobody's going to put in a capsule like that, man. That, that, he's, he's, he's gorgeous. So he goes into my collection. That'll be into my collection. And then I said to everyone, you know, I, I pick up these all the time. Should we have one of those um, Janet Oxington today in it? You know, it sort of sort of shocked me on how much it went for. I'm not going to say on the price out what it went for, but if anyone's watching me on that from that channel that's seen that today. If you want one of these, let me know, I'll get you one. And it ain't gonna cost you that much money. Yeah, we'll, we'll sort something out, we'll, you know, put in a little, um, little flip and, you know, stick it to a card, and it only cost us like two or three dollars for shipping. But here's an uncirculated one. Exactly one that was on, um, on the channel. So yeah, he's in, he's in a bit better shape, this one. So I thought I'd keep him and put him in a, in a holder. If anyone wants him, let me know. I'll um, send him to you. So we'll get that out of there. I'll put him in here just in case anyone wants him. Just remember that. I know what I went for today. And it, it shocked me. It, it, it did shock me on how much the value they are and pe how much people would like them because they are only 50% silver so there's that what else have I got to show you today I'll put that away for now my new boxes, I love these boxes, I'll probably get another one and as you've seen I've got my new containers of this is, an, this is my international silver. 
Anyone want trades? Anyone want some trades? Come and talk to me. So I've got these. To, I've got a few sixpences. And I've got a uh, um, few shillings. I don't think I got any um, truckences actually. Let's have a look. No, those are all sixpence. Sixpence, sixpence, sixpence. Yes, yeah, so I've got a f quite a few sixpences on the haul. It was just a, um, I got it for a, like, yeah, a good price for the haul because it all just came in, um, all in the same package. So I just, I, I must have got, what was it, five shillings and about 20, um, yeah, 20, 20 sixpences. So that was pretty good. And I've got a couple of, you know, a few crowns as well, half crowns, sorry, half crowns. But if anyone wants to, you know, like trades, I've got plenty to trade. You know, I've got plenty, plenty to trade. There's the non, you know, sort of the non-silver ones, but they're pretty cool coins. Same design. You know, we'll do a trade. You might want one of those ones. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that's, that's just my international silver. Pull a couple out. That's just the reason. Nineteen nineteen. Nineteen nineteen. Half crown. I'm pretty sure these ones are ninety percent silvers. There's an um, Australian florin. Nineteen forty-seven. See, there's a New Zealand. That's the first year, the first year one. That's the one you want. This is the one you want to collect. That's the first year that New Zealand took over their own currency. That's the one you want. Yeah. That's the one you want. So yeah, I've got a few, a few of those. What else? Oh yeah, that's right. I picked up this beauty. This, I picked up this beauty. To, I thought I stole it off them. So then pick these up. So nineteen oh seven. Denver. 1907 Denver Barbara half dollar It's pretty good nearly got all, all no, nearly got all the room but it has on the front got all the fr yeah, yeah, yeah Face is worn but still got full room it's got a little bit of worn out room on the back but I only picked it up for the steel yeah, it's it wasn't very pricey at all. So that one, this is my USA silver. But I want to fill this one up. So that's what I mean. You, you American boys want to swap some international silver. This is what I want. This is what I want. I want American silver. I love it. I absolutely love it. Love the designs. Oh, look at this one. I was having a look at her the other day. This is oh, she's my about my favourite mood on. She's all toned up. Nineteen forty four. I don't know if she's in the month I've got. No, nah, it's a Philadelphia. But it's nearly got all four bell lines. I mean all four um yeah. It's pretty good. Full decals. And all toned up. Really beautiful. But yeah. But now we go to the pay dirt, I think. I think we go to the back to the pay dirt. So we get rid of the silvers. Right. I got my Patreon dirt from Vendetta. This is two months of dirt. This is this 
this is the smallest bag I've got. No, this is two months of dirt, half of it's rock. It's not. No. Like, I don't mind if it's this small, but take the big rocks here. Make it more fun. Because I don't think this is going to be much fun for me to do. It's going to probably take me five minutes to pan out and two months of waiting. That's not good. Not a very, you know, I, I wouldn't say I'm very unhappy, I would just say I'm slightly unhappy, disappointed on not the amount, it's just I can see the size of rocks and you can see them here. They all go down to about here. So that'll be all we you know, I only do kitchen strainer um, classification. So once they're out, they're not gonna be much dirt to to pan out. So sorry but we do love the man, so just a heads up, brother. You know, leave the big rocks out. If you're gonna send a little tiny page out like this, leave the rocks out. But otherwise, that's all right. I know the gold's gonna be in there. Other than that, this is an appreciation of the support. I've been through quite a few of these this year. The old ice cream container full of dirt, pay dirt, half gram, half gram guarantee. I'd say my average yield, you know, on gold of these containers would be a, at least 0 0.6, 0 0.65. I've nearly had a whole gram. Um, there's always extra, so and it's you know, $69 to me door. That's not that's New Zealand dollars, by the way, not not American dollars. So that's only about $45 US to your door. You can do calculation, but since I was a good, awesome customer, since he says that. He, he actually gave me a free pan. Get a rubbish and dust out of there. Yeah, give me a new free pan. And it's green, I like because this is my you know, this is the original Amazon Amazon pan. That's that I'm still I'm still using it. And a little, little pan. But yeah, you give me a bigger pan. I've got a blue one of these but I don't quite like the colour. But I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this one to a good use. I can't afford a Garrett pan. I'm a solo dad, and um, you know, I get what I get, and I'm just happy with what I get. So, but we'll, we'll, we'll definitely pan out this and get the results later on. I'll probably do a short video and see what we got on the uh, Vendetta. We'll do some panning later on. But yeah, I thought that was quite neat. I thought that was thank you, thank you, John. From dredging. Um, Dredge gone from New Zealand. I don't know if they installed on the on the dirt before, but that that's pretty good. But that's about it for today, fan. Um, I'll do a couple of shorts later on, like I said, and um, pass it forward. Do good some something good for someone else. It feels good. Like you know that that giveaway that's done for Thomas feels good, man. You know, like doesn't it, yeah, it cost me a little bit of money, but so what? made a new friend and um he gets to pan out some good dirt and hopefully one day i get to pan out some of his dirt so peace family and much love from from me and mine